Greetings gamers! I've just finished a fantastic game with the Dice Storm as we've been playing uh, Rise of the Rune Lords Burnt Offerings, which is very, very cool. But we have had a lot of questions about how I like to set up Sirenscape on my system. So um, I'll get you, I'll just show you a few ways you can set it up to get the best out of the app. So if we come over here via my fantastic digital projected maps, you can see another video on that which I shall link down to below. Here is Sirenscape running on my Galaxy Note. Very, very pretty. We'll just boot that up. You can, of course, use the internal speakers on any, any device. Um, but often, you know, especially a little device like this doesn't really have very, very much oomph and certainly not very much bass at all. So, yeah, the next step you can go up is one of these little tiny little rechargeable speakers. How cool is that? Um, I'll plug him in and you'll see that actually it's not that much louder. Some devices, iPads have quite a lot of sound coming out of them. They can be sort of adequate. But if you're gaming at a convention or whatever, you really got very, very little hope. Let's see how much sound are we getting of that. Not really any more than was on the device itself. So the next step up, which I really, really like, and I was glad to find, is this over here, which is a big, quite heavy, ugh, rechargeable Bluetooth wireless speaker. What you do is you go over here, and you turn on your Bluetooth, and it brings up this window, and there's the boom box, and I'll connect to that. And, in a moment, in a moment, there we are, it says hello. And the sound is coming out, that's better, coming out of this. Quite a lot of bass. And yeah, quite a lot of clarity. And that's good, that's probably good for a con or something. Not a big room, not a great big room where there's lots and lots of noise. But the best thing about it, it's completely wireless and um, you don't have to um, run a 250 meter extension lead and you can go on the battery of your device. When it's running, it's great to have Sirenscape just sitting on the table like this so you can just reach over and touch something if you want to. Um, if, if you've got real battery concerns, then you know you can turn the brightness down. And the, the main thing, these, the main battery use on these devices is the brightness. Now the next option after that is I've got another Bluetooth device over here, which is a little tiny Belkin Bluetooth receiver, which then plugs into my surround system down here, and then that goes to the great big speakers. But what I use is this here, which is an HDMI cable. Because if you go out HDMI out of like a PC or a Mac, so over here, you can see I've got Sirens get running on my PC. Then we get sound in surround, 7.1 or 5.9 or whatever it is you want. And um, we're getting fantastic surround sound going there. Oh, I've got two versions of Sirens get going at the same time. There you go, that's better. So yeah, there's some options for what you can use. Um, this is our digital projected map, which you can see on another video I'll link to in the description below. So yeah, you can go small, you can go big, go wireless if you need to play wirelessly, or you can go really high quality and lots and lots of speakers if you've got those sorts of resources. Um, we put a lot of time into the quality of these sounds, so you know, don't just use those internal speakers on your, on your PC, because it's not going to um, really give you the big immersion and surround, surrounding that you want to really um, get around the players. I'm really losing the ability to speak English, and I really must actually go to bed. Yeah, so um, ask some more questions in the description in the, in the comments below and I'll add more and more details in the description for you, some links to the products and things like that. Um, good night, game on, fun, bye!